big news! We got the house sitting job. The owners have some problems with the car, so they are fixing it. And we are not house sitting their house yet. This is a second house that they live. So we will be staying here and doing laundry and staying overnight in the yard. Until our real house sit starts. Exciting news! Our house it will start in maybe a week or two. It was supposed to start actually last week, but the hosts have problem with their car. So until the car is fixed, we are here just waiting, wa waiting and wandering around. It's not a big deal of waiting. Yeah. Just uh, we have nice hiking areas and nice places here, and we are like a one hour drive from the house. Yeah. And we made a deal if the car delays more than a week we can go to, to their the house yard. because they are renting a place and their house is renovated so we can go to the house where's nobody and spend the time there cook food and f wait until the real, real house, house <laughs> <it> starts <laughs> excellent <laughs> yes but this is not bad for us because we don't have any timetables and yeah. it's good for also to the uh, house sitter host because we don't have any uh, timetables so they don't have to worry we don't have to worry house sitting if you don't know it's uh, you go to somebody's house to live there for free and you just uh, live there maybe take care of car and usually include pets for example now we are going to actually to take care of two ra giant, rabbit. giant rabbits and one cat yeah it's good for our budget, it's good for our mental health to be in the same place, like being in a stationery somewhere. Yeah, because traveling is awesome, but it can be exhausting because and you are spending every night in every place. Yes, Did so we can get the pause and we can actually enjoy a place. And of course, we don't have to be on that house every day, every hour. We can actually uh, travel in that area. We wanted to have a house sitting during the hottest month of the year, so summertime, but we did discover there were no longer house sits. No, at no good house sits. If, if, if it was longer period of time, there was like 12 dogs. Yeah. And uh, we cannot... House sit places where dogs, because Pulla is not friend of other dogs. Yeah. <laughs> so we didn't find any, that's why we suffered. suffered. Awful. <laughs> so now we are going to the winter time. And winter is good house sitting one because it's gloomy and rainy and cold. So yes. living in a camper run is kind of not so pleasant. Yes, spring and the autumn time are our best times to travel. Actual travel and live in a van. And before we quit our jobs and started traveling full time, this was one of our plans that we will do some house sitting gigs. Yes, for months every year. Yeah, because it saves so much money. It's because we don't travel. We don't use diesel that costs two euros per liter. Yeah, Amazon lockers are great. They work in uh, every southern part of Europe. And they have Amazon boxes and you can order stuff in here. And then you have just a Amazon app where you can see when they are here. And we got three packages at least. And here's nice uh, detail. If you are really short, there's a mirror so you can see if there's a packages. Packages, parcels. Parcels coming in, and they were in the same box. So whenever new packages came here in the past three days, they just put it in the same locker. Really I easy and convenient way to buy it necessary stuff when you are on the road and you don't have an address. And again, we bought lots of uh, stuff for our uh, camera. So we have had a tripod or how we film with our GoPro, but it's really small. It's uh, the tripod is so small that it, we cannot uh, put it anywhere. So basically it doesn't stay there. And also now we can get much 
higher selfie photos. Higher self photos. selfie photos. <laughs> For example, when we go swimming or somewhere, we can put the tripod there. But yeah. new tripod, it was needed. 25 euros, Ulan's drivers are really great. The last one was kind of starting to be shaky and worn out, so... It was good. We used it one year. But because we have a uh, metal cage and the mic on the GoPro, it's weights it gets that... heavy. It gets heavy. So it doesn't really work as a tripod. Now in here it works as a tripod because it's on the table. But we were really vlog when our camera is on the table, so... So, it's uneven. This has... Uh, ball on top of it so we can put wherever we like it yeah yeah lens uh, filters power bank for time tables and some gopro stuff that we needed time lapses time lapses and yeah usb c cables you need them always a lot and we did buy this one that has an angle so when you are approaching your phone it breaks really easily if it's like a straight line. Yeah. So now we have backup wires. And that are new bear shoes, running shoes, because my old ones, even they have been great and I have been wearing them every day, past six months, uh, they are starting to break. So I bought a new ones and the red ones were sold out, so now I have. Black, black ones, but I absolutely love these. I have still perfect condition, so that's why we bought them. Really yeah. good barefoot sandals. Oh. And when you start to wear barefoot shoes, you never want to use normal shoes again. Yeah, but we got the packages and we're gonna go actually into grocery shopping. Also, we went to buy a new SIM, SIM card. card for the France. You need Yes, it's tell about a, it. Tell about it. They have uh, this kiosk automat, so you don't have to talk to anyone. We like it. So, free is the supplier, 19 euros and 210 gigabytes. One we month. One month. Uh, if you take a free in France, there is a catch. possible catch. You have to always use the one month uh, subscription. Do not take the one that it tells you that it will continue and continue because you have to actually write in paper to uh, close that subscription. Otherwise, you you are paying that twenty euros forever. Forever. So there is always a you can choose continued subscription or one month subscription. Yeah. So that was good. And why? 210 gigabytes when we use like 80 gigabytes. Well, uh, I have actually updated my computer for for nine or months or a year, so it will take a lot of data to update everything. And I think we will just download some TV series, and we want to catch up on YouTube. So watch our friends' YouTube channels and. And we are on in the house in the same place, so I think we're gonna use a lot of data. And it was just a two, three euros uh, more expensive than 10, 110 gigabytes. Yeah. So. And primary reason is to upload these ever so great fantastic videos. Yes. <laughs> so we can actually put this also to my account, maybe. I don't know. It would be pushing. Yeah, it would be pushing. You know, when you are talking about taxes and what you can actually put like uh, down. Don't get greedy. Yeah, That's I put my all advice because yes. I'm an accountant. Yes. Yeah, these kind of things. GoPro. What goes straight to the camera and things. That we will put there. But everything else is again. It's our personal use. Yeah. But basically, I don't pay any taxes. Because our fantastic businesses not do it that well. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't make that much money. So. But this is a hobby. This is a hobby. Registered hobby. Ba basically, we spend as much as we get money from YouTube, so it's plus minus thing. Yeah. But it's good. It's, it doesn't uh, cost us anything to make these videos. Yeah, for example, we can just order these kind of things with the Google money, so... Thank you so much for watching these videos. And watching really annoying ads. Yeah, that helps. That Thanks. helps. We came for the quiet walk in the nature. 
yeah, once again uh, parked at the ski resort parking lot. And just came here to walk. Beautiful scenery once again. <laughs> this is more like our scenery, so natural lake, no dams, and sand beach and kind of dark water, but it's clear. This kind of lakes you can actually see, see in Finland a lot, like wilderness lakes. There's those kind of rocks that are quite uh, smooth. So here in this part of the Europe it's not a, that smooth rock, it's a rubble rock. But here it is still the smooth rock that is found also in Finland. This uh, yeah, gives much of Finnish vibes. Some, somewhere in northern Karelia. Like our plot is, we miss it so much now. Kind of homesick feeling, a little bit. Very awesome, so here you can actually pitch your tent uh, from 7 p.m. until 9 a.m. So overnight with your tent, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, in French side it's much more free, actually pitch your tent outside of the national parks and this is pretty good there's a couple of places we can actually go around we cannot swim that is the only bad rules in here in this part of Europe we love swimming so nice boulder rocks I actually saw some people with the boulder bats on there uh, yeah I have a climbing shoes with me I was planning to go bordering in the Pyrenees, maybe after the house. It, there is some area where you can actually rent a uh, border bat, so I can come to climb. But we have a little problem, this guy is in the middle of the path. King of the forest, everyone else is going around you. These are these hairy ones. It's fun that they are actually in the forest. Thank you! Again on a ski slopes. Yes, that was a nice walk. We have like 200 meters to go up and then 100 meters down to a van which is the other opposite side of this whole mountain. They are putting those rocks to the seat, every seat, testing something. I think uh, max weight test or something. Oh yeah, they put st three stones and then it starts up again. <laughs> 345 kilograms of concrete. A little bit different kind of place to spend the night. Uh, this is kind of some kind of uh, service route to the dam. And yeah, it's open for traffic and public so you can spend the night here also on the other side of the dam there's this forest which looks like a really great place to actually spend the night yeah this time this is better this is in the winter time because we can get the sun and that is heating our van but in the summer time that would be actually a great place to spend the night you have shade we spend the night could not sleep on that lake and it was cold it was really cold. Uh, nighttime below freezing, daytime maximum of plus 10. Uh, yeah, we came down from the mountains from 2 kilometers. This is 700 meters. So, but the micro climates in here in Spain and France, it's, it's, it's amazing because I can be on a t-shirt. The wind is really uh, warm. And as you can see, this looks like Spain a lot, including tissue papers in every push you go. But yeah, this looks like Spain, and we can see the Mediterranean Sea in the background. Far in the distance is Mediterranean Sea. What is our plan? Why we just uh, keep going and keep driving? Well, uh, we are heading to Limoux, which is uh, from here north, like 45 kilometers. And we have a pre-house sit and then we have a house sit. We're gonna go to the house and spend, I don't know, how much it, the fixing of the car takes. Maybe one week. 
uh, gonna edit lots of videos because we are lagging behind a lot. We have like 24 hours or 26 hours of footage that we haven't actually edited, so we have a lot of thing to do. Uh, we are just driving these small country roads that we truly like. There would be actually going big highway from the coast to Limo, but we like these small ones better. It takes more time, but that's it. We are having a break, having a snack, snack here, and then continuing the beautiful road. When you go house sit, first thing that you do is laundry. <laughs> we have our laundry basket full. Yeah, this is not even our house. This is pre-house sit. This is the house sitters, another house that they are renovating. As you can see, everything is like uh, just uh, disassembled. Uh, we are being here until they get uh, their car fixed. Maybe days, maybe a couple of weeks. So. Just enjoying and doing laundry. Yes, we have had our motor light on for, I don't know, months or weeks and I haven't had time to fix one thing. Uh, our register plate light doesn't work and there's a design flaw in Fiat. This uh, wire that goes to the lights the register plate. It's just beside where the uh, door closes and opens. And after a while it just uh, snaps the both wires completely. So it doesn't work. Yeah. Easy fix. This uh, wire loom would cost 70 euros <laughs> in new. So I just used duct tape and just reconnected those wires so now it's fixed. I have to just run the wire back there and that's it. Really easy. The connector on the van side is really easy place. Uh, on the pillar, corner of pillar over there and yeah it's easy fix. So now it's working and we can get the motor, motor light off. It's uh, Sometimes these fixes they take time. For example our shower pan inside. We haven't actually fixed. We have used always a new tape when we go shower inside. But when we get uh, to another place where we can actually sleep outside of the van, we can actually fix it there with the fiberglass. Let's see if it fits there. Install this back on. It's easy. Just get it there and connect the connectors. Then we have a working van. This wasn't like a really a must have thing to fix right away, but when we have uh, the inspection MOT next year in Finland, then it needs to be resolved. Yeah, Pulla has been here free roaming on this house while we are, have been here a uh, couple of nights now. Uh, we parked our van here because. It's too hot for us. <laughs> it's better to be here on the shade. Uh, we have had time to actually clean up the whole van. We got, went through all the stuff that we have back in the van. There is still stuff that I would need. I want, wanted to get rid of, but we cannot. But yeah, life is life. We have full garage. But now it's uh, they are in the right place. After a while, usually stuff that you have there. They are turning into wrong places and then it, it's a mess. That much stuff we have actually gone through and we are throwing away. Couple of uh, shoes that are wear out. This house that we are at, at the moment, it's under renovations. They are gonna renovate the whole, whole place. So it's basically an empty shell. There ain't that much stuff. Yeah, and Corona came. They had really much plans to actually renovate also the outside, but it, it just stayed this way. So they are just waiting until they, they get this done. But oh, 
camera made it. We, what we have done, we have a uh, washing machines here, so we can actually wash clothes. And we have actually washed all the clothes, all the beddings and everything here. Yeah. Nice view. We have a really beautiful sunset on this area. And there is actually people planting a new wine. Sticks, not sticks, bushes. Are they bushes? No. Wine vines, I think they are. Yeah, they have done it for I think four hours now. Yeah, really beautiful house, really, really beautiful place. Loving it. This ain't the peen soup, but this is uh, dishwashing tablets. Down they go to our gray water tank and it will actually clean it. We have like 5 to 10 liters of water in the gray water tank already and then we put 6 tablets of dishwashing tablets. Let it be there for 3 or 4 days. Drive to Lumoux in, Limo. in a town and let it just do its work. Uh, Usually three or four days, and it will actually remove all the grease that is in there. This way, the graveyard tank won't stink. Our way. Also, cheap Coca Cola is working great. It's hard because it's in a small space. Tight fit. Tight. So we have been basically slaving our butts away in this yard, so we clean it the whole. Van and Joni did fix the light and we did defrost the fridge. It's really nice that we have now like space to stay put for a while because it's kind of annoying to do these tiny little things with your van in the parking lot or something like defrosting your fridge. So it's just so much nicer to clean your van when you can lay all your shit around. <laughs> the house were owners were thinking that we wouldn't be pleased with the place because it's under renovation, there's nothing there. But it's come on, there's electricity, running water, shower, hot shower, unlimited Toilet. water. So everything that we need to get a smile. Yeah. <laughs> Chin tonics. Life is what you make it. Sometimes it's true. Ah, it's Monday. 11 even. <laughs> yeah, it's what you make it. Honey bunny hyppää autoon, ajetaan aurinkoon. Limusta pieni tauko, joidaan kintonikki. Kloketit pääsee lappuu, pari liveä pidetään. Nopen elämämme loppuun, YouTube-videoita me työstetään.